What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to install chipless firmware for the Workforce 2850 printer. This is a pretty common printer for those looking to do sublimation printing or use any sort of chipless firmware to do this sort of printing. Um, this video is going to focus a lot more on the software portion of that, um, but right now this is just uh, trying to get the printer set up for all of this. So right now I'm just trying to take the printer out of the package and get the hardware set up before we can move on to the software portion. But again, this video won't be focusing on too much the hardware portion and more so, you know, getting the ink chip installed and all of that. So essentially, you're just going to want to follow the first four steps on the uh, manual that comes with this printer. And so this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, so once you get the printer out of the box, get it plugged into a power source, and then from there, you're going to want to turn the printer on. And then from there, we're just going to begin the basic setup of, you know, setting up the date, the time, the language, all that basic stuff. And so once you get through all of that, once you get through, you know, setting up your language, date, time, whatever, you want to get you this screen where it tells you that the initialization is starting. And then from here, you want to uh, follow the instructions on the screen, which means installing the ancient cartridges. Oh, and right now I'm just installing the cartridges, so you can see I already installed the black cartridges. I'm just again following the instructions that come with the uh, printer, and you'll be fine. Once you finish installing the cartridges physically, you're just going to want to follow the on-screen instructions on the printer uh, and just let it charge, and this process should take about 6 minutes. Uh, and so now from here you're just going to load in some basic printer paper. Um, this is just so that when you run your first test runs, you don't have to waste any of sublimation paper, which generally is more expensive. Right, so once you finish this, you can sort of skip this setting up fax process, but what you really want to get to do is go into menus and then set up your Wi-Fi and connect that Wi- make sure that your Wi-Fi is connected to the same network that your PC or laptop is connected to. Okay, so once you finish that, you're gonna to want to go to the Epson.com website uh, and then you're gonna search the printer model, which is in this case the Workforce 2850. Um, and once you get there, you want to click on support. And then once you get to the support page, you're going to want to download the printer drivers. So once you get those downloaded, you want to open it up. Um, and you can't see it right now, but you have to say yes to allowing it to make changes to your system. And make sure you uncheck the automatically update um, device firmware option. Select English, hit I agree, and you're just going to let it download and just give it a moment. And you're just going to proceed with the installation. Again, make sure that your computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer so that the installation will go smoothly. And you're just going to let it connect. And once it connects and finishes downloading the firmware, then you're done with this part of the process. Okay, so now that you want to install the actual um, software for the printer, you're going to want to go to inkchip.net. Um, and then from here, you want to go to click soft for software and then find your printer model. In this case, it's the Workforce 2850. And then the thing is, if you try to download or open this directly, it won't work, right? So what you want to do is um, open it, show in folder. Uh, I t tend to like to keep my files organized, so I have a folder set up specifically for this purpose. I'm going to move it into that folder. I'm going to hit, I'm going to extract it using some sort of extractor. You need to download this extractor externally. In this case, I'm using 7-zip. I'm going to press extract here, just so it extracts in the same folder. And I'm going to press on this app, and it's going to ask if I want it to let it modify my system. I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to hit next. Um, agree the software agreement, hit next again. Um, and then this step tells you specifically to have a USB cable and an Ethernet cable attached from your printer to your PC. So make sure you have that in order for this um, program to work. And you'll see that our printer will show up um, right here. 
it's called the, the workforce 2850 and you're gonna press yes and you're gonna give it you're gonna let it install and this might take a while so just be patient okay so my installation is about to finish um, it's about to finish right about now yep and you're gonna see this error message on my screen and don't worry about it um, if you see this message don't worry about it at all uh, this just this just means that your printer has it installed and then uh, you don't really have to worry about it uh, and then just hit next and then you're just gonna press finish and there you go now it's installed so that means we're finished with this part of the process so if you're concerned as to whether or not your software or firmware has properly installed just go onto your printer go to settings um, until you find a firmware update you're gonna click it um, and then make sure it says bl05k3 and as long as it says that that means your your software is properly installed Okay, so now that we've finished the um, installation of the firmware part of this procedure, we're going to now have to move on to activating this chipless firmware. Uh, and to that, we're going to come back to this inkchip.net website. We're going to hit buy, and then we're going to look for the workforce series, select our exact printer model, um, which is the workforce 2850. And then we're going to add it to our cart, uh, which is going to cost us $30. And then from our cart uh, we're gonna click on that and then you're gonna enter in the code inkx pro for a 10 percent discount at checkout and then you're gonna proceed to checkout and here you're just gonna enter your payment information and then purchase the code okay so now that you've purchased your activation code you're gonna to want to come back to the inkchip.net website um, go back to the software tab uh, and then you're gonna search for the uh, printer model, in this case it's the Workforce 2850, and then download the activation software. And then you're going to show in folder, and I'm just going to move it back to where it was before with all my other stuff. Uh, and you're going to double click to open it, press more info, run anyways. And then it's just going to load up once and it's going to close, press OK. Uh, and you're just going to double click it again to open it, and you're going to press English. Uh, and then here, you're going to make sure that you have selected the right printer model and that your printer is connected to your computer through a USB connection or else this process won't work. Press activate online. And then here, you're going to copy and paste your activation code into the box. And that's what your serial number is. I just have it stored in a notepad document. And then there you go. It's activated. Uh, it's going to tell you that you're going to have to restart your printer. Um, and before you do that, uh, just press OK. Um, before you do that, you're going to copy and paste this recovery code. Uh, and the, the purpose of this is in case you accidentally update your firmware or anything goes wrong, this can be used to restore your printer. And so once you've done that, you're going to turn your printer off and you're going to turn it back on. And then your triplet firmware installation has been completed. Okay, so now that you've finished your installation, you can now install whatever cartridges you want in your um, printer. Uh, and we sell cartridges for sublimation printing on our Inkex Pro website. Uh, just go to Chipless Solutions and you can find all our products uh, related to chipless printing. And if you have any more questions or any more issues, you can watch any of our other YouTube videos or you can visit the knowledge base section of our inkexpro.com website. Thanks for watching.